What's going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. If uh, you see, I have uh, a couple new things on the back wall. Not really excited for how big the uh, Matco flag is, but you know what? At least it looks better than an ugly wall. So that's a beautiful thing. We've got some pliers that I got, or snips, dikes, whatever you want to call them. Little display thing from Snap On when I bought my roll cart. And the Hayes drive adapter plate for our pumps. As you can see, I talked about it in the last video briefly. This bolt had a bunch of play in it. So, along with this one, you know, hydraulic pump goes to an adapter plate, then it goes to the back of the flywheel, which has a, a drive plate, more or less. It's a piece of like nylon that has a gear that goes on to it. Well, if it gets any play up and down, side to side, whatever, it'll cause quick wear and cause the part to fail. So then you lose all hydraulic functions and it's no good for anybody. And then I'm getting phone calls and all that stuff. So try not to deal with all that. But enough of uh, the random rantings and stuff up on the wall. We're gonna talk about something that I probably should have talked about last week because the month was up. Talking about the Tecton, the Icon, and the gear wrench. My uh, one month thoughts, I would alternate the ratchets every day. I'd go from the Icon the next day, gear wrench the next day, Tecton. Well, I have one that I'd want to use more. I am having a snap-on ratchet withdrawal, because I love those. But I don't feel like a month is good enough on that to sit there and justify whether or not I can tell you guys to buy this one, the others are junk, or they're all great, or whatever. So I'm going to keep going with it, do a three-month update next, and then do a six-month, and then maybe a year after that, just to kind of really put some true use on these things. But so far, these are my impressions on these ratchets, and I'll tell you which one is my favorite so far. So trying to hear people are coming in the parking lot or not it's kind of a bad thing about having all these crews now You've got people interrupting at random times of the day usually after work when I do all my filming so it kind of sucks you know I have to stop and restart and all that stuff so you know it is what it is but this is a place of business so my little YouTube channel has no precedence over any of that you know it is what it is so Starting off, we have the icon. You know, we'll go into my thoughts on that, but that's a overview of it real quick. And I do have my uh, unboxing and initial thoughts on these a few videos back. And we have the gear wrench. Not a terrible sounding ratchet with the teeth on it. And the icon or Tecton. Wow. Coming in on a Saturday just got me a little uh, screwed up. So, going over these things, here, here's my month thoughts, guys. If you disagree, I mean, that's fine. If you agree, that's cool. I mean, you know, whatever's clever, it's kind of subjective. Mainly going with feel in hand over a month. So, take it for what it is. If not, you know, don't take it at all. Starting off with the Tecton. Guys, you know I love my Tecton wrenches and my Tecton sockets and love the company as a whole. This one's, it, be honest with you guys, the grip's a little wonky for me. It's kind of got an odd layout. So there's that. It's got an odd layout. The detent in it isn't terrible for the flex head to lock it. It's not too bad. I honestly thought I was going to snap this because, well, I haven't been using any, you know, 3 8 power tools. Granted, I kind of, you know, if I have to use a half-inch drive gun, I have to use a half-inch drive gun. You know, I still got work to do. Still got to have some sort of uh, quickness about myself. So, but other than that, this thing has been running around doing what it needs to do. So. Uh, not a bad ratchet overall. I did kind of put it in a position where 
I thought I was going to snap it, ended up breaking an extension. So, had the snap on guy warranty that for me. The, the tooth count type swing isn't terrible on it. It's just one of those ratchets I could honestly take or leave. It's not terrible, it's not the greatest, but for $44 on a mid tier ratchet, it's okay. It's, it's not my favorite by any means, and I love Tecton. I had, like I said, I thought I was going to snap this thing, but that's the first one. It's okay. Going with this gear wrench, I don't know if any of y'all shoot firearms or not, but my biggest complaint with this, oh, there's two really. I don't know if you guys are familiar with shooting at all. If you guys are into firearms or things of that nature, things that go bang and make a lot of noise and, you know, have fun with it. But to me, I kind of got that. I don't have the biggest hands. I don't have the smallest hands, you know. I'm a 6'4 dude that's about 275. I need to lose some weight. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a bigger dude. Half the time I don't feel like it, you know, but whatever. But getting to the point... If you're using a firearm that's a little bit too small and you kind of get that dead spot with these these fingers, you know, it, it kind of gets annoying. You know, use something that's appropriate for your hand size. Um, I have found myself either, you know, trying to get comfortable on this grip if I'm using it a lot. So it's either pulling up like that or, you know, this little notch in here for the comfort spot. I've been working my way up it and it, it just there's no direction to me where that should belong like it, it, it doesn't feel right in the hands it kind of just all over so be honest with you if I could talk to the people that make gear wrench ratchets you know whoever the design team is I'd honestly say extend it another inch inch and a half and maybe make it a little thicker and keep this indent in here and it'd be Pretty okay. The next thing I could not stand about this ratchet, guys, and it is the stupidest thing, but you know, we got this detent in here, and it does that number. Well, all this to me is becoming a noisemaker. It constantly flops around, you gotta use it, and it just wants to walk every which way. I mean, granted, I could tighten it up and see if that helps. But I really wanted to use it out of the box and see if I could, you know, what it's like before I start messing with things. It does have a little bit of wobble in the head. You know, granted, this is out of the box, used, not touched, not adjusted, not tightened. So, you know, there's that. I do love the head on this thing. I love head in general, but that's another subject and uh, probably more adult rated. I do like the teeth count on this, or tooth count, whatever you want to say, teeth brush, toothbrush, whatever sounds correct, right? But anyways, I like the tooth count on this. I like how precise it feels. And under pressure, it's not terrible. I haven't had anything, you know, I haven't had this thing feel like it's going to break. So that's a beneficial thing. Swings nice and tight, so. Head's great, love the head. Size is pretty good. If they do something with this detent, either make it tighter where it pushes more into it to keep it a little bit more sturdy or change the design up and change the handle, it'd be perfect for me, but then again, for you, it might be great right out of the box. Now coming up to the one I just wanna chuck in the trash. I really wanted to, this thing, this is the one I've been longing to go to every day that it comes around to either a gear wrench day or a Tecton day. I've been wanting to go with this. It feels like home for me. It kind of got that snap on feel, which is nice. It's not bad. I mean, Icon, you did a good job. I mean, it's like you missed some of the answers when copying the homework from uh, old Snappy. But this is a good feeling ratchet. I mean, the handle's not the best. You know, that rubber part, I mean, I like either a plastic, the hard plastic snap-on handles or the soft grips from snap-on. But the handle's not terrible. This feels normal to me, this feels good. Like it doesn't, 
You don't get that stupid click. You don't get any of that nonsense. And it, it kind of seems more true when you turn it and it gets a natural play instead of wanting to go its own way. Uh, tooth count, it feels good on it. Like I said, this is the one I've been wanting to use every day and I really wanted to hate Icon products. Uh, this has actually swayed me into uh, looking at picking up more Icon stuff. I mean, it's, it's not bad. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this ratchet. Um, not too much I can say that I dislike about it. I mean, like I said, it feels like home for me. I, have had, I haven't had any issues where I'm feeling this is going to break or it's too much for it. Granted, the next uh, step in this series of videos is going to be me just all out beating them for the next couple months to see if I could actually break them. You know, put it under some of uh, some of the pressures that other mechanics may put it on. Instead of grabbing the little half-inch drive ratchet or breaker bar, we're just going to throw a cheater pipe on this, like some of y'all might. We're going to have fun with it. And we're going to see how their warranty process is. But very happy with this ratchet. Honestly, if I had to pick one to throw away, sorry, gear wrench guys, I, this would be it. I do not like this. The only benefit to me, in my personal opinion, is the head. Other than that, I'd chuck it in the trash. Granted, it was the most expensive out of the three. It's, it's not for me. Granted, like I said, some of y'all may love it. That's fine. To me, it's not comfortable. So it's more of an update on this. Like I said, another two months. My opinion may differ. I might actually end up loving this. Might end up snapping this and might end up throwing this in the trash. I mean, who knows? It is what it is. But guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you for taking your time. Thank you for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, you know, post nasty messages. Tell me I look like Bradley Cooper. Tell me I'm like fat Jesus, you know, bearded Jesus, sexy Jesus, whatever you want to call it, you know. I'm just some dude, I'm your average average Joe, I guess would be the best way to put it, talking about tools and talking with y'all. So thank you guys for watching. Take it easy and keep wrenching.